Welcome to Bandits, <clears throat> the show where I take a look at a piece of art and make an argument as to why somebody would think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban the film or at least make some good choice cuts. Today, I've got a short film. This is my first short film I've looked at. So, I've got a Japanese film called Patriotism. Now, what's so bad about this is, well, let's say it promotes one of the most heinous of all sins, suicide. And it look, it's looked at in a kind of a somewhat of a positive light. But of course, that's coming from a different cultural standpoint. But some moral guardians won't care about that aspect. It's clearly, it's only on what they perceive to be right and wrong, regardless of how the person in said culture is raised. And we're, you know, I'm not exactly sure how it, well, you know, Harry Carey, if you fail your mission, it's disgraceful, you might as well end your life. That's kind of a stand point that goes on with that, especially when it comes to, like, war and whatnot. And, you know, it's essentially kind of, to a degree, you know, sacrificing yourself for a country or people, other nuanced things, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care to get into the... Just suicide. Bad. It's about it. In a positive light. Ban it. You know? And, uh... <clears throat> the filmmaker, as well as a very famous Japanese author... This one was adapted from his story... It's, I think this is his only film, or he made one other, but he, it kind of, uh, foreshadowed, uh, his own demise. Cultural differences. <sighs> so what do I think of this film? It's interesting. It's very brief, which isn't a bad thing. It's... It's a vignette. That's pretty much what it is. It's a vignette. So there's not much of a beginning, a middle, or the end. It's just the middle of the story for the most part. We're not, we don't see a whole lot of what happened before or what happened after. It's just a moment of this guy's life. You know, his last few moments before, you know, he offs himself. <laughs> It's kind of grotesque too, you know. It's kind, of, it's kind of a violent film. You know, it's black and white, which can help lessen it. But, you know, it's got some disemboweling there, because you know, Harry Carey. That's kind of part of the course. All right. Well, what do I think of this film? Oh yeah, I want. That's where I'm at. I'm telling you what I think of this film. It's okay. I like that it's short. I'm not sure if this would make a great feature length film, but maybe it could, who knows. In the right hands, with the right kind of padding, it could... Felt weird. Huh. It could be a decent good film, but uh, there's, there's other films that are longer that deal with a similar nature, so we have those if we want something longer. And that this film was almost lost because uh, the filmmaker's widow, she wanted pretty much all of the prints destroyed after he offed himself. So it is, there is a little bit of a censorship thing going on here to a degree. And it wasn't totally lost very recently about... Whenever this set was released, some surviving prints have been found. 
and now it's available for us all to see in its depressing glory. That's about it. Well, if you have an idea for a film you'd like me to take a look at, let me know in the comments below. And if you watch this on YouTube, check me out on BitChute instead. And uh, hit me up on mine for social media. And uh, check out the Stardust app if you want to see a bunch of short reviews from myself and a bunch of other people. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.